everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to inspire and empower your wig journey. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new color by Aesthetica, brand new blonde. It's called Sunlit Blonde, and it's from our lips to the ears of Aesthetica Designs. You won't want to miss it. I have it in two styles. Coming up. The wig style that I'm wearing here is Thin by Aesthetica in that brand new Sunlit Blonde. I also have Sunlit Blonde on the style Jet. Now the Thin style was sent to me by Wig Studio One for this review so you could check it out before you make the purchase. And then I purchased the Jet on my own so that we could do a little bit of a comparison. I always love to check the consistency of the color and sometimes the application of a little bit different um, from a longer style to a shorter style. So we invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. Below the video, check out the description and there will be links directly to these styles there as well as the other Aesthetica styles. Aesthetica is always 30% off at Wig Studio One while the promo lasts. I'm gonna keep this video brief today as it is about the color and I'm not gonna to get too much into the specs or review of the particular styles themselves, but I do have a lot of videos coming up that's gonna compare this new Sunlit Blonde to some other of our favorite blondes in the marketplace. I have a huge video with lots and lots of blondes across all the different brands, and then I also have one comparing this to just the Aesthetica Blondes, the RH1488, uh, and then the Silver Sun RTA. I think this blonde is really uniquely positioned in that Aesthetica line. It is definitely hitting the sweet spot for me. So let's dig right into this color. So I think this is a really good time to preface this video about my lighting because studio lighting always creates a lighter and brighter look on the blondes. Now this is well known and I have disclosed this a lot, but if you're newer to my channel, just be aware of that. And that's true with any blonde, really. If there's ample lighting to be able to see the wig style and to see the back of my set, you are going to get a little bit of brighter appearance on especially the blonde. So just keep all of that in mind. This is a really light, bright blonde. Anyway, it's I'm not noticing that it's particularly shiny or anything like that. Any exaggerated shine or brightness or glare is coming from this lighting. Okay, so let's dig in and unpack this color Sunlit Blonde. So the main color in Sunlit Blonde is going to be a pearly white, an icy looking white. It's not a flat white. It hasn't been toned with a violet toner. It's just a, a pearly white appearance. <clears throat> And you're going to notice that throughout the color. And it's even more obvious, I think, on a longer piece where you're getting more of that white. So it's cool in tone naturally. And then you're going to see two types of highlights and lowlights in this, in this color. So the first one that you'll notice is a light natural blonde. Now that light natural blonde does not add a lot to this uh, color. It just gives it some dimension. It's not an obvious in your eyes kind of a highlight color, but it just, it lends to that pearly effect, that cool pearly effect. And then you have another highlight of a light sandy blonde. Now that light sandy blonde, if you isolated it, it's just a neutral sandy blonde, a soft neutral sand. But when you add it to the pearly whiteness and the pearlescent kind of a satiny a natural blonde, it gives it just a kiss of warmth, like it was just kissed by the sun. And I think you can kind of pick those out here. And that's that sandy blonde highlight um, next to all this white. Like I said, it just gives it a little bit of warmth. It's not enough warmth to make this a warm color. I really consider this to be more neutral to cool because that white really does, that cool icy white really does hit your eye first. It looks like a beautifully highlighted platinum shade from afar. 
And then the nice thing about this one is, and they're listening, is the light brown root. So this is truly a light brown root. Now it is a golden brown root, and I am getting glimpses of brassiness on the root, especially in the sunshine. So let's take a look. Um, now the cameras and the lighting will also emphasize shadows, which makes the rooting appear a little bit darker than it actually is. So I'll try to get below the light just a tad so you can get a really good sense of that color. But it is definitely a light brown, a light golden brown. Beautiful, isn't it? And on this fin with all this noodly curl, I love fin. Um, now this fin has a lace front, a really deep, nice lace front, and then it's open top sides and back. Um, but I do want to get up close on this lace front because I feel like the application of this color is consistent uh, between the two pieces that I have. So there's that lace front, nice fine knotting. The important thing to note regarding color is that they do bring a highlight right up to the root, but it isn't a banded a dramatic effect. It's just enough to give it a nice soft look. So what do you think about this color? Beautiful, pearly, pearly, icy white with a kiss from the sun. That's how I like to explain it. It's gorgeous, it's satiny, it's soft. Okay, without further ado, I do want to introduce the jet in this very same color. In terms of being consistent, I think it is consistent. And Jet even has just a, a more of a platinum effect because the fibers are straight. You're not getting the full body of the color as you would in a, on a uh, denser piece and longer piece like Thin. But all the color characters are present in this one as well. Beautiful. Okay, so this is Jet and this is Finn. I am going to try them on and do a side-by-side -side for you in both uh, indoor light and outdoor light. And please stay tuned because I have several comparison videos coming out that you won't want to miss if you're a blonde lover and looking to purchase this particular blonde.